Welcome back. Time to train uh, my weakness. I have a project outside. Uh, it's a 7B plus and I'm falling off the last move over and over and over again. So today Eric convinced me I'm gonna train in the tunnel and uh, practice my endurance. So uh, the idea is to not climb super fast but try to keep my technique even though I'm getting really really tired. We're gonna try this orange 7A-ish. Uh, we haven't tried it yet. It might be hard for me, yeah. But we'll see, we'll see. Like, I'm not used to onsighting. I felt like I was maybe a bit slower than I intended to be. I, was, I wasn't gonna try to be fast, I said, but it felt like maybe I was overly, going overly slow. Otherwise, it felt okay. It felt like I need a bit, I need to be a bit harder to get to that level where I'm, where I struggle to keep my technique. So I think the, the 7B will probably have a good, be a good test piece. So we're gonna try this uh, 7B. I haven't tried it either. So I should probably try to re-grip the holds a bit less than I do at the moment. And I should also try to breathe as I go. Something that works for me is like starting to breathe, like hyperventilate a bit before you actually start climbing. And I think that, that really helps. It felt really weird. I think I'm really not doing the right beta here. I think I fell because I, I tried to put a heel where my yeah where it couldn't fit. Yeah, basically in the wrong beta. a really bad hole. I don't know how to even go from. Should it be probably just guppy it and then try to move up to here. Yeah a dino in the middle of the route. I don't I don't think there's a, a better way. It's gonna be pretty hard from the from the beginning I think. <sighs> this is more what I was looking for or was expecting.
Okay, that's gonna be rough end, really fun bouldery end. <sighs> but hard from the start. Maybe breathe more, even more. <laughs> so I think the first hard move is gonna be the dino jumping there. Or it's not gonna be super hard, but it's gonna take a lot of energy. Then it's gonna be the matching, getting your feet up and crossing up. And then the final move is gonna be pretty hard when you're tired from all the rest. Of course, I'm most impressed about the fact that he like he cut loose. So um, I have a couple of things to remember. So first of all, I think I I should really try to regrip less. It's hard when I don't know the beta, but uh, yeah. And then uh, breathe more. And I gotta commit to uh, my moves, like jumping and so forth. I can't be too uncertain. And that also comes together with having to, I have to remember the moves this time. Uh, and I've, I've tried them once, right? So it should be possible. What? Yeah, last, last time I fell three times trying to get up. I didn't rest so much. I think it should be possible to do from the start, but uh, we'll see. I'm uh, gonna try my best this time. a lot more tired when I got to that point this time. I think I did something wrong with my feet uh, at one point where I was like high up with my heel and I don't know where my left foot was. I was talking about the hard where I messed up I think is when I got this right hand I got my right heel up and then my left toe behind here or something and I really had to lock off with my biceps and I ne really need my biceps for the, the dino part so yeah I think that's uh, I need a better way to do this section. Something like like a, a knee bar here, I think. And then left. Yeah. That's felt a lot better. Woo! That's hard though. Maybe I can keep my feet somehow. Maybe here. Yeah. Yeah, always feet. Don't cut loose. <laughs> Final try. the worst attempt yet. I feel like it's gonna be hard to finish off. Uh, so I think I, in order to practice this in the future I should probably like read more, uh, not doing these blind attempts sort of things. So then I can focus more on breathing, not re-gripping, moving faster, yeah. I find it that beta with the heel instead of uh, cutting loose and jumping, I think that I say probably, I think that made a move uh, doable for me rather than crushing me so I couldn't do anything after that. Sometimes you just have to realize that it's really hard and you just have to try really hard. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a balance there. It's really hard to find the best way. So I think what I learned today from never actually practicing this on my own normally is that uh, I should really try to read the beta beforehand because otherwise I don't have any time to think about all the other things that I should be practicing and I'm just like looking for the next hold and 
jumping around and being confused in general. So uh, don't forget to read the beta and then focus on the things you actually want to practice. If you think that Eric should come, uh, come with us and climb outside with me and Peter, uh, you should uh, leave a like uh, and don't forget to uh, comment and, and subscribe as well.